So hello and good Monday. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can potentially make your direct queries faster. So all of that in just a second. Hello and welcome back. My name is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and in today's video, I am going to show you how you can potentially make your direct queries faster. So let's jump into Power BI and I'll show you. I have here an example that I've created. Uh, I have four tables. I have customers, orders, products, and depots. And I have loaded them into Power BI as a direct query, which basically means that no data is stored in Power BI. And Power BI goes back to the source to query it every time you know he needs to do it. So I have already set the relationships, as you can see in the relationship pane. And if we open one of them, uh, so here we have orders and products. Uh, there is something here called assume referential in integrity. And you might wonder, what is that? Well, as you can see, they have a link here. Let's go and check it out. I think they've made a great job on explaining this in here. But it's not very well known, so I thought it was worth to explain it either way. So Power BI, when doing queries, it normally uses an auto join. And... Uh, a way to improve, potentially improve that, depending on how your data looks like, is to assume assume referential integrity. I have a video on joins, uh, another video on joins, I'll link below and up there in case you want to see it. But um, let me show you, let me show you. If we go to Power BI, and as you can see here, between orders and products, I have not ticked this assume referential integrity. Let's leave it like that for now. Uh, what we are going to do instead, we're going to go to SQL Management Studio. Here is the database and these are the tables. And we're going to set a server profiler. There we have it. And the event. Let's set this up. That should be enough. So now we have our trace set up. We go to Power BI and let's do a query. Let's see what is sent back to the source. So if we query quantity by product ID from the product table, and we go back to our SQL profiler, then you will see here that it did a left outer join, which is basically what the documentation was telling us. Every time that Power BI has to join tables, it will do an outer join by default. But sometimes it is better to do an inner join. And you can do that by clicking on, let's do it again. We go here, assume referential integrity. Click OK. Let me save you just for the sake of it. And we need to do a, a new query, right? We need to start the trace again. We do a query with color, for example. We go back to SQL, and as you can see, it changed it to inner join, which was exactly what we wanted. Now, there are some conditions that need to be met. Uh, in this example, between orders and customers, as you can see, there is a customer on the order table that does not exist on the customer table. And in that case, you cannot assume referential integrity. It will not let you do it. And if you do it, you'll probably get errors, okay? So it will do the sum uh, improperly. And the same goes for the pot and orders. There is a null on the order tables. So there is a, a, a product that does not have a depot set. And it won't allow you to do that too. So you, you'll definitely get wrong results. Be very careful with that. What I was wondering when I was going through this is like, okay, this it allowed me because it it followed both rules, but what happens if the data changes? What happens if I get a new product on the product table? Will I get an error? Will I get a, a message that says, hey, you have set assume referential integrity, go on and check it because you're going to run into troubles? I had to check it out. So here we have a SQL query that will add a new row to our product table and that product does not exist on the order table. So 
if we execute that, we go back to Power BI, edit queries. We go to product, stop it. We go to product, refresh. So we get the new product. So now we have product X in there. Close and apply. Refresh, my friend. And I'm sure the product, let's check it out. Product X is there. And now we have a product that is on the product table that is not on the other table. And we have the assumed reference integrity, which is going to give us wrong results. So I don't know what to say. I don't know what to recommend, actually. I think that is a, a, a dangerous setting in case that, you know how data is. It, you get errors all the time and you get mismatched values. So it would have been great if, if it would have warned us and said, hey, you had actually uh, referential integrity, but the uh, two conditions do not apply anymore. But it doesn't. So be careful with that. I just wanted to let you uh, make you aware of it. So this is all for today's video. I'll see you again on Wednesday. So until then, take care. Bye.